Um, every day uh, in the life of a chemical pathologist is different. So the working week uh, would involve at least two to three clinical sessions that would involve uh, uh, seeing patients at the clinics. Um, these are the specialized clinics where we see the patients with the lipid disorders uh, or uh, the patients with porphyria or for instance, uh, bone uh, metabolic diseases. Chemical pathology is uh, a novel discipline in that it involves uh, experience, practice and management uh, in metabolic medicine and clinical diagnostic science. So the chemical pathologist has a number of different roles that they undertake. This would include uh, a laboratory director role where they're involved in the quality management and overseeing that and taking responsibility for that in a diagnostic service as well as clinical risk management. They also have a big role in terms of clinical liaison, that's interacting with their own clinical colleagues in terms of the interpretation of results and also providing clinically actionable advice to doctors for clinically effective management of patients. And thirdly then, a chemical pathologists would have a big role in terms of outpatient management of patients in particular situations. That would be in the management of lipid disorders, in renal stone disease, in metabolic bone disease, in endocrine and diabetes, uh, as well as having some inpatient consultation. And like any discipline, it's very important to have uh, research activity, uh, to provide education and training for medical students, for scientists, uh, as well as clinical audit. They would be the fundamental basics uh, that a chemical pathologist undertakes. The other part of our uh, work involve a clinical liaison, uh, which encompasses uh, uh, helping our professional colleagues, both um, uh, hospital-based doctors and uh, GPs, um, interpreting and investigating um, uh, different uh, blood test results. Um, the third part would be uh, laboratory management, and um, it would involve involve uh, uh, supervising and training uh, the medical staff, medical scientists, uh, and uh, also um, uh, look after research and development work that uh, take place in the chemical pathology. Well, what I enjoy most is that um, there are, I suppose, two, two facets uh, to that. Firstly is that there's an important laboratory base where the um, chemical pathologist uh, oversees a very important diagnostic support service for the clinical colleagues. Um, and I really enjoy that aspect of it. But very importantly as well, chemical pathology uh, entails direct interaction with patients. They're not just based in the laboratory, they also have an important fundamental role uh, in the management of patients with specific disorders. And I think that makes them unique uh, in terms of the biochemistry diagnostic situation. My favorite part is um, helping other uh, medical professionals um, um, in investigating and interpreting uh, abnormal, unusual results uh, which play a key role in a patient care and I think that's what you need at the end of the day.